But when they got to the Tower of Babel, those people said, no, we will not fill the earth. We don't want to be scattered abroad. Uh Uh-uh. We're going to stay right here. We're not trying to make a name for God. We're trying to make a name for ourselves. So this is no longer about your glory, God. This is no longer about you being elevated. It's no longer about you being on display. This is our show. Uh huh. This is our, we running this one. Everybody is going to see us from far and wide. We're going to put a wall around our city. Heard that anywhere? Oh, we're going to build a wall around our stuff and we're going to keep them out and we're going to keep us in. Uh huh. Because we are the baddest people group on the planet. All those other nomadic people, they can scatter, but we're staying right here. That's why we're not using stones that can be knocked down. We're going to use bricks and mortar. We staying. And you can't move us. We're going to make a tower that points straight to God to let you know we ain't moving. And God said, ooh, what's going on? (laughs) God was like, let's have a conference call between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. (laughs) What y'all doing? I, I, I mean, can you imagine the confusion? Like, wait a second. There is a people group who has the audacity. To think that this is about them ruling and they resist the will of God. They point their finger in the face of God and defiantly and rebelliously say, rebelliously say, no, you can't make us move. Oh, God says, let's see about that. <laughs> God says, oh, you gonna move, pumpkin. You gonna move. <laughs> oh, I love God. God said, no, you're going to move. So God decides that in the face of this type of rebellion, that in the face of people who have the audacity to believe that they can defy the plan of God, the purpose of God, the will of God, that somehow their image is better and more prominent than the image of God. God says, you got it twisted. You don't get it. You don't understand that I'm the creator and you are the created So God comes down. Now, when God makes a personal call, there's something going on. God says, let me come down here. Let us go down. Trinitarian convention. (laughs) And God says, we're going to scatter this. So we have a moment where God says, I'm going to give you diversity right here. Since you won't go get diversity and diversify, I'll diversify you. You can't hear him. She can't hear you. Everybody now is going to speak a completely different language. Go. And now they have to move because they can no longer communicate and conspire together to be evil. So God makes them have to talk to other people. God makes them have to move. God makes them get back on mission. That's what's happening in chapter 11. God confuses their language because it was always God's intention that all the families of the earth, not just you two and a few, all the families of the earth were intended to be blessed. Are you hearing me? Y'all understanding over there in the back? I got you. Yes. Yes. 